So you're running your machine and all of a sudden you have a tension issue and you don't know what to do to fix it. In this video, I'm going to show you what are the visible indicators of tension so that you can just make a quick adjustment and go on without having to go and test your tension. So before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that in the end of this video, I'm going to reveal where you can get an awesome resource that is also free that will help you with any tension issues that you're having. So if you're not familiar with what tension is to begin with, tension is just really the pressure that the machine applies on the thread. And you can adjust it on the machine depending on the fabric that you're using, uh, the thread you're using, and even the complexity of the design that you're using. So in a machine embroidery, you have to make sure that your tension is correct so that you don't run into any issues during production and even so that the quality of your embroidery comes out good. But sometimes we don't have time to test our tension because we just want to keep our machine running so we can of course keep making money or keep making beautiful embroidery designs. So first, let me give you a quick overview on how tension is tested to begin with. We test tension using something called an eye test, which is basically just a one inch satin stitch column. Now we flip that over to the back and we compare the ratio of bobbin to top thread. So ideally you're gonna wanna see one third top thread running down either side and then one third bobbin thread running down the center. Now, of course, I want to remind everybody that this is just a rule of thumb. It doesn't have to be exactly one third. As long as your machine is running without any issues, then you should be fine. But if you do see a lot of bobbin or a lot of top thread on the back, then there's definitely an issue and we need to correct it using the top tension knobs in the machine or using the, the screw on the bobbin case. So like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need exactly one third. What you do need though, is to make sure that you don't have way too much bobbin or way too much top thread showing because then you will have issues. So the first thing you wanna look for when you do an eye test is you wanna see whether the same patterns are showing across all needles or just some of the needles. If it's showing across all needles, then you know that it's a bobbin issue but let's say the bobbin kind of varies and there's only some issues with the certain needles, then that means that you are having some top thread issues. So like I said before, it doesn't need to be perfect uh, as long as you don't have way too much bobbin showing or way too much top thread showing and you're not running into any issues, then you should be fine. So now let's finally get into what you guys are here for and that is just showing you guys what these visible indicators are. That way you can just make some quick changes and you can keep your production flowing and moving without having to go and test your tension from the beginning. So as you gain experience with machine embroidery, you're gonna be able to identify what the issues are and what you need to do to fix them. So let's start with thread break. So one of the main issues in machine embroidery is thread breaks, and that can usually be linked back to tension being too tight. And by tension, I mean our top tension being too tight. So if you do experience that your thread uh, continues to pop out of the needle and your machine stops, then that's because your tension knob is too tight. So you just wanna go ahead and loosen the tension knob of the same needle that you're working with. So another issue that can arise when you have incorrect tension is bird nesting. Now, for those of you who don't know what bird nesting is, it's uh, when your top thread goes into your bobbin case slash rotary hook area, and it kind of bunches up into like a little messy nest, hence the name bird nest. <laughs> So bird nesting actually happens when your top tension is too loose. And now the reason being is because you kind of have to think of the top and the bobbin having kind of a symbiotic relationship. It's kind of like a tug of war and the tension has to be perfect um, in order for it to um, not pull into the other side. So when your top tension is way too loose, you literally get stuck with a bird's nest because your top thread is actually just going in to the bobbin and rotary hook area. So something else that could happen if your top tension is too loose is that uh, the top of your design, you can actually start experiencing some looping of the stitches. So the actual stitches won't be um, appearing flush on your garment, they will just start to kind of loop up. So if either of these is the case that your top tension is too loose and you're um, coming up with these issues, all you have to do is make some adjustments to the top tension knobs um, of the needle that you're working with to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So for both of these instances, whether you're looping or bird nesting, it's because your top tension is too loose. So you're gonna want to um, tighten the tension knobs by turning them clockwise. 
and you can actually tighten those knobs as your machine is running and see if it helps the situation and if it does then you can keep on going um, and ensure a smooth flow of production. <laughs> So if you fixed your top tension knobs and you're still experiencing some looping, it can also be that your bobbin tension is too tight. So what you can actually do is just loosen it, the little screw on the bobbin case just a little bit and see if that re resolves the issue. And the last issue I'm going to cover today is something that has probably happened to a lot of you when embroidering and you probably wondered why this is going on. And that is when your bobbin shows on the top of your embroidery design. Now this happens because your bobbin tension is too loose. So remember what I said before about it being kind of like a tug of war. So if your bobbin is actually too loose, your top thread is pulling it up to the top of your design. So it's kind of tugging on that uh, thread and uh, winning the tug of war. <laughs> so I'm curious to know how often you guys test your tension. Do you usually test it before a big run or do you test it only when you are having issues with your tension? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'd like to see uh, what you guys do to kind of simplify the process. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can quickly resolve any tension related issues that you may be having during production. And now, as promised, I'm going to reveal where you can get a more detailed uh, look at tension. So go ahead and click above me or in the description below to download uh, a video on tension that goes over exactly what to do with your eye test results and how to think of tension going forward in the future. It also has a thread break guide, which is very, very useful if you're ever having thread breaks. It'll explain the type of thread break and the reasons why you're having them. So I highly recommend checking out that resource. It's completely free. Okay guys, so I hope that this video has helped you guys kind of get a better understanding of um, what you can do if you are having issues related to tension. You don't always have to start from scratch and um, test everything out. You can kind of just play with your machine until everything works perfectly as it is intended. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And uh, I'll see you guys here next time. Bye.